Hi, in this next video we are going to do an example of scheduling some action. Here we have our Uni server, our OpenSUSE 15.2 minion. We see the system ID for this uh, client is this one. And then let's back and take a look at the SUSE Manager Uni API documentation. In this example we want to schedule an state apply. So here we see its name is a schedule high apply high state. We need to pass, uh, as always, session key, server ID, date, and then a boolean specifying if this is test mode or not. We have here our client, our key, and then we can just point to our API endpoint, schedule apply high state. We pass our uh, authentication key, now the system ID, and date, yep. So we want this to be executed and scheduled now. And the last part is a Boolean setting that if we want this as test true or false. Okay, we get the action ID for the scheduled action. Let's just check this on the event history. And exactly, we see here our highest day action being executed. Now let's take a look how we can check the action result so here in, we are in the same situation and um, let's take a look how is the name for the endpoint in this case is list complete actions complete systems so we have client schedule in this case and then list complete system we pass the authentication key and we pass also the, as you can see here, the um, action ID. Okay, we have the information about the action ID, base channel, etc. etc. And yeah, we have the list of complete actions. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can execute and call a script remote execution. So for this, we have this schedule script run where, okay, let's take a look. We are few ways of calling this method, as you can see. And in this case, we are going to pass here the array with the list of the system IDs. In this case, it's only for a single system, our OpenSUSE 15.2. Then we pass also the username and group for this execution that is going to be performed, then timeout, and now the actual command we want to execute. Of course, we need to pass the date time for the schedule, and that's it. We have the action ID, and we have checked, we can check the result. We see this was executed, and yeah, we see this also in the event history with the actual results. Okay, on this next example, what we, can, what we want to do is to um, list all complete actions for a system. In this case, it's not for a system, as you can see, but we list all complete actions, and each one of the actions is pointing to a, a, a different system. We can also check the name, the, the list of in progress actions. Okay, now on this last example, let's just put all those kind of pieces together. So I created a script, simple script that basically does a few things here. It lists the registered clients, then it deletes uh, the client, our client, if it's already existing, it's going to bootstrap this client again uh, as minion and then we are going to execute a uh, few actions on them as you can see here in case that the system is not there we didn't it, it, it's if the system is existing we delete it then we bootstrap it again we are going to wait until the registration is completed and once the registration is completed we are going to schedule few actions the highest state first 
and then we are going to execute a remote execution command also with the command date. Then we are going to wait again for those actions to be completed and finished. And once they are finished, we are going to check the results. Mm -hmm. You can see all the different endpoints that we are calling in this script for doing all these different tasks. Okay, let's take a look. Let's just execute the script. Um, yeah, here we see the list of system. We are deleting uh, our test system. We are bootstrapping it again. Now we are waiting for the registration to complete. Okay, now we see the registration finished. Now we are executing a few commands. We see in the event history that yeah, those commands are already triggered, those actions. And yeah, we get those actions finished and we see that both succeed and we see the, the, yeah, the, the, the results in this case. Okay, that was it. Here you have some more uh, links and you can also see the um, example script that we have been used. So feel free to do some experiments and I hope this video uh, have helped you to know more about how you can play with the Uni API using Python. Thank you.